Hello everybody from ASGE and welcome to another episode of uh, ASG Tech Talks. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the past few episodes that we brought to you on different uh, techniques and tools to help you in your daily endoscopy practice. Uh, as you all know that therapeutics in endoscopy has significantly increased over the past few years. We are doing more and more therapeutic procedures such as uh, ESD, EMR, uh, POEM, STIR, uh, and the list goes on and on. And for all of this, what's required is the ability for the endoscopist to be able to either resect or suture or remove a larger mucosal or in some cases even submucosal uh, lesions. Uh, now, while you're working in that space, it may be beneficial to have that space sort of steady and fixed so that it's not moving, the GI motility isn't impacting your ability to do what you want to do at that time. So let's look at a device which can actually help offer that to you. And what we'll be discussing in today's episode of ASG Tech Talks is such a stabilizing platform from Lumendi. Here's Dr. Sergi Kansevoy to take us further. Now, Dr. Kansevoy will explain the clinical utility and advantages of the new stabilizing platform. But first, we are using Lumendia on our way to the sacrum. We distend the balloon and then we pull back to shorten uh, the colon, and it allows to navigate even through a loop redundant colon. Then when we reach the area where we need to work, we create therapeutic zone by uh, putting air into both balloons and then stabilizing the pollen between those balloons. And finally, we use Lumendi system for retraction. When we connect the polyp to the uh, front balloon, we call it four balloon, and then the instructions help to facilitate uh, submucosal dissection dramatically. There are some other benefits, but uh, we can discuss it next time. Illumin consists of a soft, flexible sheath that fits over standard and small diameter colonoscopes. This device employs two balloons, as you can see, one behind the bending section and the second, which is in front of the tip of the colonoscope. When both balloons are deployed and inflated, the colonoscope and the segment of colon are further stabilized to help facilitate endoluminal therapy. This model demonstrates advancement of the colonoscope with the lumen through convoluted colon. The dilumen advanced to the first turn in the colon. Both balloons are inflated and gently pulling back, dilumen straighten the colon. Then deflating balloons and advancing dilumen forward over the colonoscope, we can reach the next segment of the colon and repeating inflation and deflation of the balloons, we can straighten the entire colon. The next clinical movie demonstrated actual ESD procedure in the colon. First, uh, you can see the non-granular, very flat lesion located in the proximal transverse colon. The dilumen position to create a therapeutic zone by advancing the four balloon uh, proximal to the lesion. The four balloon is distended and then the lumen pulled back gently to position the lesion inside the therapeutic zone between the fore balloon and the aft balloon. You can see a very flat lesion fixed with the multiple scars post previous partial attempt of incomplete endoscopic removal of the lesion. We create submucosal injection uh, to lift the lesion and after submucosal injection is completed, uh, we make circumferential incision around the lesion by using ESD uh, with the dual knife. Uh, 
After circumferential incision around the lesion is completed, a four balloon of the dilumen is gently pulled back and uh, the distal margin of the polyp is fixed with two endoscopic clips uh, to the four balloon. Then four balloon is pushed forward, uh, lifting the lesion and exposing access to the submucosal space. And then the section of the submucosal space is performed with the dual knife uh, to completely free uh, the uh, lesion from the underlying muscularis layer. Uh, you can see the stages of the dissection and now dissection is almost completed. A small connection between the lesion in the submucosal space is dissected and endoscopic submucosal dissection is completed. Well, great. That brings us to the end of this episode of ASG Tech Talks on using a stabilizing platform, which again can help us when we are involved in all these therapeutic uh, procedures. So until next time, see you then.